What do you want to be when you grow up? For many high school students, answering this question has become a job in and of itself. One Steel sophomore has a career in mind, but for her, it's less of a job and more of a mission. When I was in fourth grade, my family and I got involved in an organization called Ukraine Orphan Outreach. Since then, Caroline has embarked on three mission trips to Ukraine. While her journeys may take her 5,098 miles away, for Caroline, the cause hits close to home. My brother, Posh, is from Ukraine, and he was an orphan, so that's kind of where I first got involved. Orphans in Ukraine have it really, really bad. About 60% of girls end up in prostitution, 70% of boys end up in crime, 10% of orphans commit suicide before they're 18, and only 27% are able to find any work at all. Helping Pasha avoid these statistics was not enough to complete her mission. Caroline's goal is to return to Ukraine and restore the faith of as many orphans as she can. For some orphans, simply receiving a possession to call their own is sufficient. Most are just looking for love. A lot of kids, especially when they're younger orphans, are able to grab onto hope. The little kids will like just hug you because they, they've never had anybody just hug them. It changes you because in America we just don't have anything that's so just heartbreaking. But no matter where you donate your time, your services are still appreciated. Although mission trips to other countries might not be attainable for everybody, simply volunteering your time at a local homeless shelter can help provide the same hope to individuals right in our community. There's so many ways just in right where we live that we don't even know about to help other people. No matter where you are, even if you're not a missionary, you can be a missionary. Turning her passion for helping others into a career might present some difficulties, but Caroline knows that her impact on others will outweigh any challenges she faces along the way. Being a missionary definitely isn't a high paying job, but I think for me personally, there is nothing more important than just trying to help one person at a time and no amount of money could ever replace that. Nor could it make as great of an impact on the world as what Caroline has already accomplished. This is Mallory Golsky for Steel News Live.